hey what's up youtube Ronis with it in another tutorial and in this tutorial i'll show you guys how to easily sharpen your images in photoshop this story is not about how to fix blurry photos but it is more of how to enhance details or how to sharpen your images in photoshop so if at all you take your images and they're out of focus this is not the tutorial for you but basically it is about how to sharpen those images that slightly missed focus so I'll show you guys this very tutorial whereby you're going to be able to sharpen your images after watching this uh, video. So let's kick in and start editing. And the technique we're going to be using in this tutorial is going to be frequency separation. But we have to do and target the particular channels and mask out the areas you want to sharpen. So basically when you're sharpening an image, there are specific areas or parts you want to be sharpened or have that very nice emphasis. In the images so this is the image you are going to be using it is for uh, it was it is for a bride of mine I worked on uh, some time last year so uh, we're going to start and kick in and we start doing that so for frequency passion up after maybe you have retouched your images and you have done everything on your image for skin retouching or color grading sharpening should be the last tool you have to go in for so when you have maybe folders or different folders from your retouching and color grading, make sure you first of all create a stamp visible layer by hitting Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard. So Shift Alternate Command E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. For this case, I only have the background layer. That is, I'm going to duplicate that basically. I'm just going to come and hit Ctrl or Command J twice, like for frequency separation, what we usually use. But we're not going to complete the overall frequency separation technique. So I want you guys to pay close and close attention. So we're going to first of all turn this off. And before you can turn it off, let's, let's name this maybe blur. Then the upper layer, we're going to name it texture like that. So I'm going to turn off the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon and select my blur layer. Then come to filter and I'm going to come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So after coming to Gaussian blur, I'm going first of all put the radius all the way down to 0 0.1. Then I'm going to look for the area that has uh, enough skin texture. So I'm going to go with this very area right here. So for this case, like I've been doing in frequency separation, we don't move this until we have completely lost out on the textures because we want that to be like a basis or if we want these textures to be like the basis or emphasis whereby you are going to be sharpening even more. So I think a radius of 5.2 is really too much and we, can, we can't copy these details from such a radius. So make sure you put a slight radius. So for this case, we are going to go in for a radius of around. Make sure you can still notice these tiny uh, details in the image. For this case, we are going to go with a radius of 2 because right now you can still see uh, these uh, details or skin textures. And that is basically what you are going to go in for for this tutorial. So after doing so, come and click OK. So you'll notice that the, the image has already become all turned uh, blurry, but that shouldn't be your concern. Come and zoom out by hitting Ctrl minus to zoom out. Then come to the texture layer and select it and now activate it like that. Then come right here to image and come to apply image. So when you come to apply image, you have to always make sure you know the size of your images before you reach to this step because usually for a 16-bit image uh, we usually use a blending mode of add so if at all it is a 16-bit image you come and select maybe the blur layer and if at all it is a 16-bit and where you notice that your image is a 16-bit or an 8-bit image you have this option right here. You know, after RGB, you have that slash and 8. So meaning this is an 8-bit image. But if I thought it is a 16-bit image, uh, the blending mode is always changed to 
add and when you change it when sorry I don't know what's wrong with me when you change it to add uh, the scale is going to be 2 and offset at 0 then you make sure you turn on the invert layer and when you turn it on you get this kind of a uh, gray uh, background or your textures are going to be on this gray kind of layer but you're not going to be using that for this very tutorial since we have an 8-bit image so for 8-bit image you have to go in for the other frequency separation method so you come and select the blur layer because you want to steal the textures from the blur layer then after that come the blending and for 8-bit images we change it to subtract so when you change it up to subtract make sure you turn off the invert yeah make sure the invert is not on you put a scale of 2 and offset 128 and you'll have basically the same results and you'll see your textures are on this gray kind of layer and after doing so come and click ok so after doing so and your image is on this gray kind of layer you'll zoom in and you'll see those textures are on this kind of layer come and select the blur layer and after selecting it come and delete it so when you delete the blur layer this is what you will have so for this case come and now select the texture or the texture layer and come right to channels and before you come to channels come back to layers and first of all change it from normal and you can either use a vivid light if at all you feel that is okay with you, you can see vivid light before and after the image is really sharp or you can even go in for linear light but linear light is way better and a little bit softer than vivid light so when you turn this all on and make sure you have changed the blending option or blending mode come to channels and select it so for this case we don't want our sharpening to be applied into uh, the shadows of the image remember shadows already have that kind of roughness and uh, shadows basically sometimes look sharp or sharper than the highlights in the image so for this case we only want to uh, target uh, the skin tones uh, in the image or the highlights in the image so for this case we are going to hold down the all the command and when you hold it down select the reds like that so when you do select the, red, the reds you'll notice that uh, this has basically selected the it has basically selected the dark parts in the image or it has enabled us also sample out the skin of the model so meaning we have now se selected or masked the skin details in the image so come back to layers and click on this mask icon like that so when you do that uh, you're going to notice that your image is now looking sharper before after you can see this is now looking sharper so we don't want the sharpening to be on the overall image because we want to sharpen particular parts like i mentioned to you guys at the start of this very tutorial come and get your black brush so make sure you have black on the foreground and it is a normal brush soft round brush so make sure you have black on top and if at all you don't have black and white just click on these two boxes to switch and make sure black is on top so we want to remove the sharpening from particular parts of the image come and now start painting using a black brush opacity 100 flow 100 smoothing at zero if at all you have that option and now eliminate the sharpening from maybe the eyebrows like that and now you can even uh, eliminate the sharpening from the lips because it it tends to look awkward if at all you sharpen the lips so i'm just going to eliminate the sharpening from the lips and you can zoom out and now you can as well eliminate the sharpening from maybe some parts of the hair that were initially selected so i want to zoom in and i show you guys the before and after for a sharpening 
I know YouTube is going to compress this video when I do upload it. So you can see the before and after, before, after. I hope you guys can see the difference we have in this fair image. And the image is now looking really sharp. So basically, this is how to enhance details or sharpen your images in Photoshop the most easy way. And I know there are so many tutorials out there about image sharpening, but I found out this to be a really a nice and effective way. And the other method you can use for sharpening your image uh, this is the first method I want to show you guys. So the second method you can as well uh, come to, I'm going to delete this. If I told you find this really complex and I'm going to go back to my frequency separation for sharpening this very email. So I'm going to go back to creating the frequency separation layers. So I'm going to name that texture and I'm going to name this a uh, blur then come turn this off select the blur layer come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur so for this case we are going to uh, move this until we have lost out on the textures but this is already a retouched image that we want to sharpen so i'm going to be using a radius of around 2.2 until these are completely lost out make sure your preview is on click ok come back to texture and activate it then come to image then come to apply image like we did uh, in the previous case for a 16-bit image you have to use the blending of add and the scale is going to be to offset at zero and you'll have to invert but this is an 8-bit image so come and select the blur layer blending mode subtract scale to offset 128 Make sure invert is not checked or marked and click OK. So after doing so, come and change it from normal and change it to a linear light to get back your image. And now select both the blur and texture layer and put them in a group by hitting Command G to put these two in a group. Then what I'm going to do basically, I'm going to select the texture layer because I want to enhance the textures in this very image. So select the texture layer and after selecting it, I'm going to duplicate the texture layer by hitting Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard to duplicate it. So when after duplicating it, you'll notice that uh, the textures have been emphasized even more in this very image. You can see the before, after, before, after. So like we did uh, in the previous uh, method, you have to eliminate the sharpening from particular parts of the image and in order to eliminate the sharpening what i'm going to do i'm going to close the whole group and i'm going to create a mask like that then after creating the mask i remember white reviews and black hides so i'm going to change a brush to black opacity at 100 flow at 100 i'm going to reduce on the size of the brush by using the brackets on the keyboard I'm just going to paint using a black brush to eliminate sharpening from the particular parts of the image. So I'm just basically going to eliminate sharpening right there. Then I think uh, the lips are also sharp. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to eliminate sharpening from the lips of the model basically. So you can see this is the before after, before after the image has already been sharpened at uh, the best way and we have that nice and beautiful detail and if at all you feel the sharpening is too much come to the opacity and you can uh, reduce on the opacity of the overall uh, group so basically this these are two methods i know i know there are tons of sharpening methods in photoshop but these are the ones i could recommend to you guys and if at all you loved or found this tutorial really helpful, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section so that this video can rate higher in YouTube or the algorithm may really rate or rank this video higher. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I hope you put this into practice and keep practicing and keep creating.